okay students i welcome you all to my youtube channel and today the topic which we are going to cover from the topographical map is the distance okay so in this video i'm going to discuss or i'm going to teach you how we can calculate the distance between the two different places on the ground with the help of the map okay so before we learn or before we move on to the distance uh, we need to understand scale also isn't it because without a scale a map is just a rough drawing it is just a sketch okay so we need a scale in order to prepare a, a perfect map okay so all the topographical maps are based on a particular scale understood and on the topic scale i have already made a separate video also and the link of the description uh, video is already given in the description so you can check it out from there okay and uh, before we move on to the video students please subscribe my channel and uh, if you find this video please uh, helpful then do like it and share it also okay and among your friends so that it can uh, reach to the maximum people and i can you know help out a maximum people through my videos so without much delay let's start our video so scale you know if we say the identification or the classification of scale briefly i'm going to discuss over here we have three different types of scale rf statement scale or uh, the linear or graphical scale now all those uh, scales are given or are present in the topographical map okay like rf is represented in the form of a ratio like this one is to fifty thousand statement scale is directly written like two centimeter equals to or it is equals to one kilometer and the linear scale is given in the graphical form like this just below the map if you see you will find those kinds of you know the scale in a uh, divided into different parts isn't it so but one thing it is there each of those divisions each of this division is of two centimeters and it will represent one kilometer on the ground similarly here in the rf also if you see one is to fifty thousand okay that means one centimeter on the map will represent fifty thousand centimeter on the ground so if we convert fifty thousand into meter then it will be 500 meter so that means one centimeter is representing 500 meter so in that sense that means two centimeter will represent one kilometer on the ground okay so here if you see all the three different scales will show us the same thing two centimeter is equals to one kilometer so the scale of the map which we are doing is two centimeter on the map will represent one kilometer on the ground okay because the definition of the scale says what scale is the ratio between the distance on the map to the distance on the ground okay students so here let's continue uh, with the you know uh, as i said i will be teaching you the how to find out the distance isn't it so there are uh, generally two types of questions are asked from the distance one is the direct distance and another one is indirect distance okay so first let us begin with the direct distance very simple students this is uh, very simple to understand uh, for example let us take a station a or a station b and b okay or the two settlements are there and the question which has been asked to us is give the direct distance of these two different places okay or measure the direct distance between the two different places so first what you need to do is you need to locate the place on the map okay and after that you need to identify the center of those places of those settlements okay then simply what you need to do is take a scale keep at the centers both the centers and measure the distance here exactly between these two places is seven centimeter okay now seven centimeter this is your map distance 
okay now what we need to find is the ground distance okay the scale which we are using is 2 centimeter equals to 1 kilometer so 7 centimeter in order to find the ground distance what we need to do is this 7 centimeter has to be divided by 2 centimeter okay so when we divide 2 centimeter 7 centimeter by 2 we are getting 7 3.5 kilometer this is the ground distance so the distance between a and b the direct distance between the a and b is 3.5 kilometer so this is your direct distance simply with the help of the scale we can identify the direct distance okay Okay, students. So, the next thing that I am going to teach you is the indirect distance. How can we calculate the indirect distance? Okay. So, for the indirect distance, what we need to is the graphical or the linear scale. Now, here the linear scale has already been drawn. Okay. I have already drawn the linear scale. And if you see the topographical map, okay, right now if we are having with you, just below the map, you see you will find the same kind of scale. Okay. So, this is your linear scale okay or the graphical scale also we say now here each of the division is again of two centimeter which will represent one kilometer each so these are called primary divisions these are called primary division okay and if you see over here i have started not from here but the zero is started from the second line isn't it so the first part is again further divided into smaller divisions so this is called here secondary divisions okay now right now in class 10 we don't have to study how can we you know how to calculate or how to draw the graphical scale if you take humanities further in plus two level then you will be learning to draw the graphical scale also okay right now i'm just going to show the use of the linear scale okay so here again place a and place b similarly okay but here we have calculated the direct distance with the help of a scale now in case if indirect distance is asked like this okay indirect distance means you need to find out the actual road distance between these two place isn't it now all the places which are uh, present on the ground surface will not have a straight route to each other isn't it some of the roads will be or some of the roads will be bending isn't it so like the you know the meanders of the river the roads will be present so here indirect distance if it is asked what we need to do is first of all we need to have a thread with us okay now the thread also don't take the thread which is clearly stretchable okay don't take the stretchable thread with it okay take a stiff a stiff thread okay so that it will not stretch at the time okay so here what we can do is again again the you know the road which are present or the uh, cart road or any metal road which are present in between the two places okay so here you need to start from or you need to see the beginning of the road so for here for instance the beginning of the road is from the center and sometimes it might be outside the city or outside the place or outside the village also okay so right now it is from the center so i'm taking it from the center only okay so as you can see over here along with the you know the curve we have to move the thread also as much as possible we have to you know take each and every curve so that what will happen is we will get the accurate distance between the places got so far okay so we need to place it from zero or since it is going beyond the line over here okay so what i'm going to do is start it from zero then here six half i'm taken then again place it in the zero so it is almost coming two and half 
is it two and half almost coming to and half so that means six then two and half six plus two and half so that means 8.5 kilometer is the distance the indirect distance between the place a and place b or else in a simple way what we can do is also whatever the distance you have measured with the help of thread you can put it in the scale also okay another way then keep it from zero and stretch it or wherever you have got supposingly it is 12 centimeter okay supposingly it is 12 centimeter supposingly if it is 12 centimeter between the two distance or to the distance between the two places okay now that 12 centimeter has to be divided by 2 okay now if we divide it by 2 then whatever the product we will get that will be the uh, distance on the ground okay so here that uh, the use of the linear scale in case if you don't have a scale with the help of a linear scale also you can calculate the distance so that is what i am showing you okay so here the distance from the zero to it was six isn't it? it was more than six in fact and from here i have taken the another one and again from the zero i have taken it so it was little bit more than 2.5 okay so here also what we can do is we can make use of the secondary division also okay but instead of that you can simply assume it also isn't it if it comes half away in between these two points definitely it will be 500 meter okay now if it comes in between two and half okay or two and half then it will be definitely 250 meter if it is little bit more than half then it will be 750 meter isn't it so approx you can give okay in case now for again one more thing students 8.5 kilometer is the actual distance okay in case if it is the actual distance now supposing if your answer came uh, 8.4 kilometer okay this will also be considered okay because while stretching the you know the this stretching this uh, uh, thread and all okay all the time you may not be accurate okay and so this was the direct and the indirect distance okay now one more important thing that i'm going to show you today is the area also we can even calculate the area with the help of the you know the scale okay that is also very simple please see it properly supposingly now the question what kind of questions will come is the grids which are present on the map okay the eastings and the northings 21 22 23 24 here 0, 04, 0, 05, 0, 06, and 07. Okay. Now the questions which will come is the question dot kind of question will come is area enclosed by the northings or eastings 21 to 24. Okay. Eastings and the northings 04 to 0, 07. Okay. The area enclosed by the eastings 21 to 24 and northings 04 to 0, 07 find the area of that place okay now here very simple what we need to do is see the eastings 21 to 24 okay how many box are there counted one two three isn't it and here also how many you know zero four to zero seven how many box or how many grids are there one two three isn't it so the formula of area is length into breadth okay so the length is also one two three isn't it so that means here each centi each of the grid is of two centimeter which means each of the grid represent one kilometer on the ground so two centimeter is equals to uh, one kilometer so we have uh, three grids over here three and uh, each represent one kilometer one two three and uh, the uh, breadth also it's three grid grids isn't it so three into three is nine square kilometer so this is the area of this particular portion which is enclosed by the uh, eastings 21 to 24 and northings 04 to 07 okay so with this uh, i will conclude today's video also thank you for watching